Today's video is an update to the video that I did about installing System Monitor on Home, on home Assistant. Uh, there'll be a link up uh, there. Um, what we're going to do is if you're lucky enough to run Home Assistant on Proxmox, then what we're going to do is make it so you can see what Home Assistant is doing from inside Home Assistant, but looking at the Proxmox values. So let's roll the credits and get into it. Okay, so before we get anywhere near Home Assistant, we've got to go to Proxmox and um, create a user that Home Assistant can talk to. So I'm just going to log on to my Proxmox instance. As you can see I've only got two servers here. So what we need to do, first of all, we have to go to the data center, which is kind of the top level because it's a user and it's going across everything. And we need to create a group. And the group we're going to create, I'm just going to call Home Assistant. Monitor GRP group. Home Assistant. Oh. Monitors. Click create. What we then need to do is give roles to that group. So these are the possible roles. These are the default roles. So you get from administrator all the way down to no access. Um, you can give this group administrator rights, but we don't need to. Um, all we really need to give it is auditor rights because we just want it to look. Um, like I said, you can give it administrator rights and um, you can manage um, Proxmox from within Home Assistant. So you can make Home Assistant commit suicide by killing itself in Proxmox. So what we need to do is we need to give this group permissions. So we click on permissions, we click add, we click group permissions and we want to give it at this level and the group is going to be Home Assistant Monitor and the role I said we could give it all these things in here but I'm just going to give it auditor for now and click add so we've got a group um, it's kind of set up there next thing we need to do is create a user so there's our root user we're going to click add and I'm just going to call it HA we don't need to fill these things in but I will oh Thanks, autocorrect. I'm assistant. I'm assistant user. And it needs to be in the monitor group. We click add. Okay, so we've got that. Um, user created so the last thing we need to do is create a token that we can log on with so instead of using username and password we're going to create a token so in permissions we go tokens we say add a new token the user is going to be my HA user and we're going to call the token ID home assistant Right, we uncheck privilege separation and um, comment uh, token to log on assistant. We don't want it ever to expire and we click add. Right, really, really important. This value, once you close this, you are never, ever going to see it again. So 
I'm going over to Notepad I've got over here and I've copied it and I've pasted it. Once this is gone, it's gone. We can't see it again. Okay, so we'll click um, close on that. And we've got our token set up. So that's the kind of majority of work we have to do in Proxmox. So back in Home Assistant, what we need to do is we need to um, install the hacks add-on. So hacks needs to be installed. Uh, I've done a video on how to do that top of the screen if you haven't got it done so in hacks it's uh, a custom repository so we've got to go up here we've got to go custom for repositories now I've got the link and I'll put it into the description for you um, it's linking to things on github so that's the repository and it's an integration and we click add okay and it's um as you can see got it in there and now if we search for box box there it is okay these are all the things you want to do so we want to download it you can go back in versions and all sorts of things but we're just going to download it okay I'm hoping it's gonna say yeah it wants to restart so we'll click that button click submit and it will restart home assistant <laughs> okay we're all started up again okay the next thing to do is actually uh, add the integration Now, the best way of doing this is going to the integrations link and finding the add my integration but if you're too lazy to do that in the description I've got the integration link and you can just paste it into a new window it comes back and says do you want to install it here and I'm gonna say open link do I want to set up Proxmox VE yes I do okay so I need to know some things here what's my host name well that's that IP address it's using that port I haven't got a um i haven't got a ssl certificate so i'm unchecking that my username what did i call it so back here users just ha is what i called it H A and the token I called HA as well. No, I didn't. I called it Home Assistant. Okay, the token value is that important number that I warned you that you really need to not lose. So I've got it on my notepad over here. Pasting it in and click submit. If all's going well, it'll work. Like that. Case is important. So these are my nodes, and I've got a server called Proxmox. I've got virtual machines here. And these are my storage okay so i'm just going to click everything click submit okay i'm going to say not now and it's found all these devices so i'm going to add them all to my server area
and click finish. Okay, so if we go and look at these services, I can see this is Home Assistant. And this is the information on what's going on here. So we'll add this to a dashboard. We'll do that now. So I've already created a, a system monitor dashboard in the link I showed you earlier. Um, but quick recap, settings, dashboards, add a new dashboard, a new dashboard from scratch, give it a name, icon, title, and show in sidebar. So I've already got a system monitor, so I'll just open it. Um, I'm actually going to edit the dashboard and create a new tab. And I'm going to call it Oxmox. And icon wise, I'm not sure whether there is a Proxmox icon. No, let's try virtual. Virtual reality. There we go. Click save. So I've got um, a virtual reality um, set up now. We'll just quickly click done on that. Okay, and I want to add these all in one big block. So if we go into settings, devices and services, find um, Proxmox, and I want to look at Home Assistant. Okay, and I've got all these, so I'm going to click add to dashboard. I want to add it to system monitor in my Proxmox tab. Click next. I think that's all okay click add to dashboard so we've added uh, the server it's probably a good idea to add the node in as well which is kind of the top level of things so again add to dashboard system monitor box box next add to dashboard okay and we are in so if i now go back to system monitor virtual reality it's not done a very good job here but i've got the the node and the um, home assistant settings Let we just quickly tidy this up uh, will it let me drag sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't to cheat edit in YAML take all of this copy it cancel go up here Grid card, show code editor, make sure I got the format right. Type grid, all the things that I had earlier, click save, go, I don't want that one now. Okay, so I've got, oh, we should call this uh, Proxmox host. So this is the host, this is uh, a home assistant, 
I could add badges to check the disk space and the processor time, but I've done that in the system monitor. So have a look at that and try and add your own. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, you now should be able to monitor your home assistant setup with system monitor. And if you've got Proxmox, you've got something there. If you could like and subscribe, that would be great. And I'll see you on the next one. Unless you want to watch these two.